Okay, so in this video, we're going to go over all the necessary steps in order to write a custom BIOS to a 1.6 motherboard revision. You're going to need a USB to serial adapter. This is the one I used. I'll put a link in the description. You're going to need a little short piece of wire for a jumper. You're going to need flux, solder, side cutters, and your soldering iron. You're also going to need something to be able to see these solder joints because some of them are very small. A microscope can help or a magnifying glass. Let's get started. Okay, so before you start, you want to check and verify that you have the correct flash memory chip in order for this to work. There are two different variations and only one is supported. The one labeled A02 is the one that's supported. If you have the one that says B01, unfortunately at this time, this one is not supported. Okay, so the first connection we're going to make is the debug to 3.3 volt bridge. You're going to want to locate the DB6C1 on the silk screen, and you're going to go slightly above it to the right. We're going to apply a little bit of flux. Okay, that looks pretty good. And we're just going to slide on to the left. Then we're going to find this capacitor that says C7C7 on the silk screen. We're going to plot some flux. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now we're going to move over to the RX connection. That's going to be below the AV port and off to the left. You're going to look for CR5A2 on the silk screen. And we're going to solder to this pad right here. Now remember, whenever you're soldering your wires up to your USB to serial adapter, RX on the serial adapter is going to go to TX on the motherboard. And you're going to solder up TX on the serial adapter to RX on the motherboard. Now I've got mine color coded to where RX is going to be red. Okay. We're also going to need a common ground. So you can solder up to any ground connection on the motherboard. I'm just going to pick this spot right here. Okay, so this is going to be the last connection. This is the TX connection, and this one's the most challenging. You're going to find on the silk screen to the left of the bias chip, you're going to look for C7B8, and we're going to solder to that via right in the corner, right beside C. Okay, so this is the tool we're going to use on the computer in order to flash the custom bias file at OGX Labs. I'll leave a link in the description. You're going to want to go ahead and download this tool and save it to your desktop. Okay, so once you've got the program downloaded on your computer, you're also going to need the BIOS file that you're going to flash. 
It also needs to be a 256 KB BIOS. I recommend Sir BIOS because it has the most compatibility. Go ahead and plug in your USB to serial adapter in. Once you plug it in, you'll see that Windows will register it under a COM port and just make note of that. Okay, so now we're going to begin the flashing process. We're going to go ahead and select our COM port. And then we're just going to hit connect. Once it's established a connection, you'll be able to click browse and navigate to the BIOS file you wish to flash. And then just hit start selected operation. There'll be a progress bar at the bottom of the screen that'll start. Once it's completed, you'll be able to disconnect everything. You'll have to remove all the wires and you'll be able to test to see if it works. If you hit connect and you get some kind of a connection error, you're going to want to go through all your wiring and double check your connections. A big thank you to Prehistoric Man for discovering this mod and making it available to us. I also want to say thanks to OG Xbox Labs for putting together this tool for us. Thank you for watching the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.